Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a St. Patrick's Day water marble. I have started off with the Danny Digits Glitter Be Gone and I have used this OPI called Fiercely Fiona and it's from the Shrek collection. And then I've put liquid latex around all my fingers and I'm going to be water marbling today with just room temperature water, nothing special. And I'll be using the Fiercely Fiona and Who the Shrek Are You? I'm just going to start building my bullseye. And I decided I don't really like these little plastic cups as well as the paper cups because it didn't want to stick to the side as well. But we're going to go with it. And I'm just going to build my bullseye doing one drop at a time. And like I said, this isn't filtered water or special water. It's just water, but it's room temperature. And I think that's the key. And I'm just going to keep adding drops of that until I'm happy with my bullseye. And I'm trying to get it a little tight because I am trying to make like a flower a four petaled flower that's going to resemble my four leaf clover. And I'm dipping in the middle just to kind of bring it all together. And I'm going to line my finger up and dip right in. I always take my finger over to the edge of the cup and kind of hold the cup so I don't knock it over. And I'm using a toothpick just to pull up all the excess polish off the top of the water. So that when I pull my finger out, I don't mess up the design. And there you go. It's a little faint, but it's there. These colors have changed a little bit over time. I've done this manicure with these same polishes before, and I don't know if time has gotten to them, but the, the colors aren't as vibrant as they once were. And I like to take my liquid latex, latex off pretty quickly after I do it. Um, just a, I don't know, it's just the way I do it. <laughs> no real rhyme or reason to it. There we go. I'm going to do just a little bit of cleanup while this paint is still wet. Try to get some of that excess off of there. with my orange wood stick. There we go. And we're going to repeat this process. Try to get that polish over to the edge of the cup. And these do really water marble really well. They're doing pretty well in the water and they're playing nice together. This was one of those manis, like I said, I've done it in the past and I wanted to revisit it. I do believe the colors have changed just a little bit in the bottle. I do store my polish in a closet with the lights off in a cool, dark place. So. Maybe I'm just remembering them different, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and make another four petal design like I did last time. I'm going to line my middle finger up and dip. Clean up the rest of that polish. And there we go. This time I'm going to run a toothpick around it just to bust that seal of that paint so that when I pull the latex off it doesn't pull up any of my design. And there we go with my little handy dandy Wistonia tweezers. A couple little stray bits that are hanging on. go. 
figured it's been a while since I water marble, so I would just go ahead and show you more more fingers actually doing the water marble. I know a lot of times I just show one or two fingers, but this time I'm going to show four. Here we go. We're going to start double dipping <laughs> or double dropping. I always like it when my fingers are free from the latex so I can use both hands. Again. And there we go with the ring finger. Yay! <laughs> Clean up that excess polish again. of the polish and pulling this latex off. And there we go. We're going to do it one more time. You can tell that polish is kind of just sitting, so I had to bust that skim of paint that was across the top and let that first drop spread out. remember when the Shrek collection came out, the only two I really wanted was What's With the Cavitude and Who the Shrek Are You? But I ended up getting the whole collection because I'm one of those people It's about the price per unit. And just to get the two I wanted, I was going to spend just about as much money with shipping and everything to get the two I wanted. And I could just get the whole collection and spend more money and get the free shipping. So that's what I ended up doing, and now I'm really glad I did, because I ended up loving Fierce Lipiana, and then there's one called Funky Dunky. It's a blue. It's real pretty. But I ended up loving all of them out of that collection. We're going to do this last little cleanup on top of the water, and we will be done with the water marbling part. And this one, for whatever reason, was kind of like a blob of polish on my finger. And you'll see when I flip my finger over, there's quite a quite a bit of polish underneath as well. The hold underneath is covered. And I don't know why that happened. I don't know if it was the angle I dipped my finger. But I'm going to go around with the orange wood stick and clean that up. So I want big globs of polish to dry be really hard to clean up so I'm just going to take a moment and get that away out of the way and here I am I'm going to go underneath there and try to get some of that out from under my fingernail because I definitely don't want that drying like that it just graced me out so there we go we have gotten them all water marbled and I have cleaned up and decided I'm going to add some little stones, some little gems. And I'm just using Top Coat as my glue. And these are tiny little heart-shaped green gems. And I thought if I placed them just right, they would kind of look like four-leaf clovers and add to the manicure. I don't do gems a lot. I always forget about them. And then I'll see somebody use them and I'll think, oh, that looks so pretty. So this time I actually remembered, and you guys know how bad I am about I can't just do an accent finger. I got to do them all. I want all my fingers to be accent fingers, <laughs> I guess. We're just applying a little bit of that top coat. And I'm just using my little orange wood stick dipped in some top coat to pick them up. I don't have a gem picker or any of the fancy tools for that. So I'm just using what I have. 
but I really did since the water marble didn't turn out as vibrant as I'd hoped and how it turned out last time I used these polishes I decided to go ahead and do the gems and make them look like little four leaf clovers and kind of add to it so see guys even when things don't turn out the way you thought sometimes there's a fix to it to make make you happy with it you just got to play with stuff And I've got just a whole bunch of these little wheels with little studs and gems and I never break them out so you know I always say everything happens for a reason <laughs> well maybe that's why this water marble didn't turn out quite the way I expected because I needed to have a reason to use these gems and these are just the fake little acrylic ones that you get in a big old packet for next to nothing on Born Pretty or AliExpress aren't Swarovski crystals or anything extravagant. But I do think they really added to the manicure. And I was pretty happy with it. So now I'm going to go ahead and top these off with some posh top coat. Right, hopefully I can tell you in the next when I start doing the next nail. So I didn't let them cure up very much. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of putting the blob of polish right there in the middle and then kind of working around it and all over the nail after I kind of do the top of the gems. And I'm being quite liberal with top coat. It's a fast drying top coat, so even being liberal with it, it's, it still dries pretty quick. I'm being sure to cap those ends. There we go. And there we have it, you guys. I did it. My very first St. Patrick's Day manicure. For this year. <laughs> And I love the little gems on there. I think it turned out really cute. So here's my final mani. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. And thanks for watching. And as always, till next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.